The picturesque town of Malton, North Yorkshire, is known for its charming streets and friendly faces. It's a place where children play freely and neighbors greet each other with warm smiles. But on a bleak November day, a dark cloud descended upon this idyllic community, casting a long shadow over its future. The source of this sudden darkness was a tragedy so profound, so utterly unexpected, that it left the town reeling in shock and disbelief. A ten-year-old girl, Savannah, was gone. The cause? A brutal attack by a creature meant to be man's best friend, the family's XL bully dog. The air was thick with the sounds of a normal afternoon. The sun shone brightly, casting a warm glow over the peaceful neighborhood. Children's laughter echoed from the playground, birdsong filled the air, and the rustling of leaves added a gentle melody to the scene. The gentle hum of traffic provided a quiet backdrop, blending seamlessly with the sounds of daily life. Inside the family's caravan, Savannah was likely engrossed in her own world of toys and games. Her imagination knew no bounds as she created stories and adventures. Perhaps she was drawing, lost in a world of vibrant colors, her tiny hands moving with purpose as she brought her visions to life on paper. Or maybe she was reading a captivating story, her eyes wide with wonder as she journeyed through the pages of her favorite book. Whatever her activity, it was abruptly and horrifically interrupted. The sudden change in atmosphere was palpable. The peace was shattered by screams, raw and desperate. The sound cut through the tranquility like a knife, leaving everyone in shock. Neighbors, alerted by the blood-curdling sounds, rushed to help, their hearts pounding with a sickening dread. Frantic calls were made, each second feeling like an eternity. Every second felt like an eternity as they waited for the ambulance sirens to pierce the quiet terror that had gripped the community. The flashing lights of the emergency vehicles added to the surreal horror of the moment. Inside the caravan, a scene of unimaginable horror awaited the first responders. The air was thick with tension and disbelief. Savannah, their beloved daughter, lay still. Her toys, once symbols of joy and innocence, now lay abandoned and silent. Her life, so full of promise, had been brutally extinguished. The memories of her laughter and joy would forever haunt the hearts of those who loved her. Savannah, a name that evokes images of sun-drenched fields and boundless energy, was the heart of her family. With her infectious laughter and bright smile, she had a way of lighting up every room she entered. Her love for life was contagious, her spirit as free and wild as the Yorkshire moors. She was a dreamer, an artist, a friend to all who crossed her path. At school, she was a bright spark, eager to learn and quick to make friends. Teachers adored her for her inquisitive nature and her genuine kindness. To her classmates, she was more than just a friend. She was a confidant, a cheerleader, a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. Savannah had a special gift for seeing the good in everyone, for making those around her feel loved and valued. Savannah's love for animals was no secret. She had a tender heart that ached for all creatures, great and small. So when the family welcomed the XL bully into their home, Savannah was ecstatic. The dog, with its imposing size and powerful build, quickly became her constant companion. She was so proud of that dog, shared Mrs. Higgins, a neighbor and close friend of the family. She'd walk him down the lane, her little chest puffed out with pride. Others echoed Mrs. Higgins' sentiments, recalling how Savannah would eagerly introduce her canine companion to anyone who crossed her path. In her young eyes, the dog was more than just a pet. It was her protector, her confidant, her best friend. Section 5 Whispers and fears in a shaken town. The news of Savannah's death spread through Malton like wildfire. Disbelief gave way to agonizing grief as the community struggled to comprehend the unimaginable. How could a dog, an animal often seen as a symbol of loyalty and love, inflict such horrific harm? Fear, too, began to creep in. Parents held their children a little tighter, their hearts heavy with a newfound anxiety. Whispers of the tragedy could be heard in hushed tones on street corners and in grocery store aisles. The incident had shaken the town to its core, leaving an indelible mark on its collective psyche. Section 6. The XL Bully Gentle Giant or Ticking Time Bomb The XL Bully, a breed known for its muscular physique and powerful bite, has become a subject of much debate in recent years. Advocates argue that these dogs, when properly trained and socialized, can make loving and loyal companions. 
They point to the breed's affectionate nature and its patience with children. However, critics counter that the XL bully's inherent strength and protective instincts can make it unpredictable, even dangerous in the wrong hands. They highlight the breed's history, which includes bull baiting and dog fighting, as evidence of its aggressive potential. The tragic death of young Savannah has only served to amplify these concerns, forcing communities to confront difficult questions about responsible dog ownership and public safety. Section 7. The Law and the Leash, a Complex Relationship The legal landscape surrounding dangerous dog breeds is a complex and often controversial one, filled with passionate debates and differing opinions. In the United Kingdom, the Dangerous Dogs Act of 1991 prohibits the ownership of certain breeds deemed to be a threat to public safety. This legislation was introduced in response to a series of high-profile dog attacks that caused public outcry. However, the XL Bully, a relatively new breed, is not specifically banned under this legislation. This has sparked significant debate among lawmakers and the public alike. This loophole has led to calls for stricter regulations, with some animal welfare organizations advocating for the inclusion of XL bullies under the Dangerous Dogs Act. They argue that the breed poses similar risks to those already banned. Others, however, argue that breed-specific legislation is ineffective and discriminatory. They believe that such laws unfairly target certain breeds without addressing the root causes of aggressive behavior. They believe that the focus should be on promoting responsible dog ownership, regardless of breed. This includes educating owners on proper training techniques and the importance of socializing their dogs from a young age. This includes providing proper training and socialization, as well as taking steps to prevent dog bites, such as keeping dogs on leashes in public areas. By focusing on these measures, advocates hope to create a safer environment for both dogs and people. In the days following Savannah's death, Malton was united in grief. Flowers, teddy bears, and heartfelt messages transformed the family's modest caravan into a makeshift memorial. The outpouring of love and support was a testament to the impact Savannah had on her community. She was such a sweet little girl, said Mr. Thompson, a local shopkeeper, his voice thick with emotion. Always had a smile for everyone. It's just not right. His words, heavy with sorrow, echoed the sentiments of an entire town struggling to come to terms with the senseless loss of one of their own. As the community mourns, questions linger. What led to this horrific attack? Was it a tragic accident, a perfect storm of unforeseen circumstances? Or were there warning signs, subtle cues that were missed or ignored? The investigation into Savannah's death is ongoing, but answers, when they come, are unlikely to provide solace to a grieving family and a heartbroken town. The pain of her loss will continue to reverberate through Malton, a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the unpredictable nature of the animal kingdom. Amidst the grief and the unanswered questions, one thing remains clear. Savannah's memory will forever be etched in the heart of Malton. Her infectious laughter, her boundless energy, and her kind spirit will continue to inspire those fortunate enough to have known her. The community has vowed to honor her memory by creating a scholarship fund in her name, ensuring that her love for learning will live on in future generations. They are determined to find meaning in tragedy, to transform their collective grief into a force for good. The tragic death of Savannah serves as a stark reminder of the importance of responsible dog ownership. This heartbreaking incident has left a deep scar on the community, highlighting the urgent need for awareness and education. While the vast majority of dogs never harm a human, it is crucial to remember that they are animals capable of unpredictable behavior. Education is key. Responsible pet ownership involves understanding the nature of dogs and their needs. Understanding a dog's body language, such as recognizing signs of stress or discomfort, can prevent dangerous situations. Dogs communicate through their body language, and it is our responsibility to learn and interpret these signals correctly. Providing proper training and socialization from an early age is essential. Enrolling dogs in training sessions and socialization classes helps them become well-adjusted and reduces the risk of aggressive behavior. Recognizing the signs of potential aggression, such as growling, barking, or showing teeth, allows owners to intervene before a situation escalates. It is crucial to address these behaviors promptly and seek professional help if needed. In the wake of this heartbreaking loss, 
the community of Malton is calling for greater awareness about dog safety. They are organizing meetings and town halls to discuss preventive measures and share valuable information. They believe that by sharing Savannah's story, they can help prevent similar incidents from occurring. Personal stories and experiences are powerful tools in raising awareness and driving change. The community stands united in their grief, supporting Savannah's family and ensuring that no other family has to endure the unbearable pain of losing a child in such a horrific manner. Their collective efforts aim to create a safer environment for everyone. Savannah's death, though a tragedy, can serve as a catalyst for change. It is a poignant reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope and healing can emerge. The community's resilience and determination to make a difference are truly inspiring. As the sun rises over the quiet town of Malton, the community holds on to the hope that their efforts will lead to a future where such tragedies are prevented. Together, they strive for a world where responsible dog ownership is the norm and every family can feel safe.